right, that's our first set, and the reason that I call this a bio concert is that between sets you get news of one sort or another, and I'm hoping that between this and the second set that Brian's partner, Meredith Miller, the distinguished local painter, will come forward and talk about her years with Brian, and I hope that she'll be followed by Andrea Fernandez Salvador, who attended the first of the Monte Sueños conferences called the Phoenix Conference, and she has some, I'm sure, interesting recollections. So I'm gonna get out of here and turn this chair over to Meredith. There's a good amplification here, Meredith. I just wanna say it's delightful to see he told me dance even to the mantra because about 20, 25 years ago in San Francisco, I was paid 20 bucks to be part of the entertainment at a wedding, and my role was to dance to the same mantra. And I was pleased to do it because the message is, hey, you don't need a drummer to dance. You don't need a bass player to dance, etc. You know, you can dance to your own vocal muscles. All right. <laughs> Meredith Miller, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for coming. Oh, All right. <laughs> All right. <coughs> Good one. <sighs> oh, I love the spontaneity of the nowness of surprises. And uh, nothing rehearsed, it just showing up. And I wish to uh, affirm that right where I sit right now is a full circle for me, because Madre Tierra was my first foot on to Vilcabamba was coming here. And uh, six days later, Brian and I bought our property across the way like a bridge of dreams. <clears throat> and uh, Brian came into my life maybe 30 years ago or possibly more. We were ships passing in the night. We were uh, headed to intersect, though, 10 years after we joined this spiritual movement, uh, searching for, I think, sincerely our... Uh, purpose in life and he is a hero in my heart because for me he represented someone who had a dream and stayed focused on it and that was to be the first astronaut to a new land, a new world, a new experience and to be the scientific bridge to the unknown and <clears throat> he was chosen to go to Mars and and then he realized there was an inner space that was more important. And uh, I witnessed him taking the chance to go into the unknown and be a messenger. And he carried the torch of free energy because he knew in his, in his whole being that he was of energy and that he could be a, me a messenger because... He had the brain, the scientific experience and research to know that this was available to all of us, but only if we were, as a society, as a group consciousness, ready to be free in our personal power. I witnessed him transition to the other side as an astronaut would travel to a new world like Mars and he was a hero in the way he just went for it. And um, he's, for me, an example of that regal courage that we all shall have to stand forth into the unknown <clears throat> of ourselves. So I, uh, I know he's uh, traveling for us and appreciating the music that, that's being expressed here, the, the extreme feeling I felt 
Uh, it, it almost coming today was like the grieving of the 60s, the, the spirit we all carried in that time, Pondo and I, we were uh, part of this dream to, to bring love and bring music, the sound of music through, through our actions and activated activism. Yesterday, Pondo will appreciate this because he knows the, the, the messenger animal of the pig and Petunia and your story, uh, your delightful story of taking the pig to uh, an, uh, an activism event. And so yesterday, Pondo, two pigs showed up at the sacred site of Montesueños where we're going to initiate on the equinox. Uh -huh. Brian's spirit there and there were two pigs frolicking up there <laughs> nosing around and, and just having a grand old time and I, I knew Brian's spirit was just coming across in the joy and playfulness of his child essence that would come out with the pig and Brian can I mean uh, Pondo can probably elaborate on that <laughs> spirit that would make us laugh so Brian also had this other side that uh, just delighted in being a kid again with the, the pig as his gateway to the elfin spirit. So it is perfect, speaking of elfin spirit and uh, Irish spirits, uh, today being St. Patrick's Day, would have been a day that Brian would have loved to have had a Irish coffee and danced with you all and played his piano, because that part of him that won't, that uh, would like to be uh, explored now, he shared with me many times, was the musician and the piano, his piano expression, and that was his real love. So I just also want to affirm that he's playing the piano with you right now here in this celebration of the astronaut in all our hearts. Thank you.